Hello, this is Mayor Eileen Weir from the City of Independence. Welcome to the 2020 presentation of the Special Recognition Award. This award is selected almost every year by the Harry S. Truman Awards Commission to recognize an organization or an individual in our community who best exemplifies the values of President Harry Truman in a special way in our community. This award is not awarded every year. We reserve this for very special occasions to recognize people who and organizations that have made a significant impact on the city of Independence. So it is my honor this year in these very unusual circumstances to present the 2020 Special Recognition Award to the Independent Japanese Sister City Commission. This relationship between Independence, Missouri and Higashi Mariyama, Japan was established on January 26, 1978 by Mayor Richard A. King and Mayor Reiche Kumake. One month later, the first adult ambassador from Japan arrived in Independence and a friendship spanning more than 40 years was born. The first student exchange program occurred in 1979 when Japanese students arrived in Independence for a two-week stay. Two years later, the first group of Independence students traveled to Higashi Mariyama. In August of 1980, Lana White led the first group of Independence ambassadors on a visit to Higashi Mariyama. This is a relationship that Mayor King valued his entire life. The sister city relationship has grown and thrived for more than four decades, thanks to the unwavering commitment from the citizens of Independence and Higashi Mariyama to participate in cultural exchange trips, educational programs, fundraising events, and a belief that our communities are enriched through expanding our understanding and appreciation for people with whom we share a bond a world away. But like all relationships, more than good intent and heartfelt feeling is required. It takes work. Planning, coordinating, learning, teaching, and funding for meetings, classes, trips, and events is the charge of the Independent Japanese Sister City Commission. Hundreds of commission members, adult and student delegates, and host families have sustained the partnership since its inception. Dozens of local businesses, organizations, schools, and sports teams have joined with the commission to ensure that our visitors experience the very best and truest of independence each year when we welcome our guests. For your continued dedication to the International Fellowship, I am proud to honor the independ Independence Japanese Sister Say Commission with this prestigious award. Hello, my name is Janae Segura Brown. I'm a member of the Independence Japanese Sister City Committee. And on behalf of the committee, I humbly thank and accept the award of special recognition that's being bestowed upon us for 2020. It's a great honor to be recognized um, in this way. The Independence Japanese Sister City Committee has been working for over 40 years with our sister city, Higashi Murayama, Japan. Um, our relationship with Higashi Murayama began with a very simple act of kindness between Lana White, an independence citizen, and Professor Ishizu, who was in Kansas City and had come to independence, and she um, welcomed him into her home and everything has bloomed from there. Uh, we have exchanged hundreds of students between our two cities and we even have a sister school between Glendale Elementary and Margarita Elementary. We visit each other every single year over the summer and it has touched the hearts of hundreds and hundreds of people. We've got friendships that have spanned generations now between our two cities. This committee is full of hardworking uh, volunteers who, who volunteer for decades in this committee because it's a wonderful place to show off 
the good people of independence and show what we're what we're all about here which is about kindness and helping and generosity it's just been an incredible experience it's been very moving for me personally and i know for everyone who's ever been involved so thank you very much for this special recognition we are honored thank you to our honoree and the many community partners who made this possible and have accommodated this unusual format we were planning and wishing that we would be conducting today's ceremony in the newly renovated Harry S. Truman Presidential Library. The year 2020 marks the 75th anniversary of the inauguration of Harry Truman as the 33rd President of the United States. And we look forward to welcoming you to the Truman Library to celebrate President Truman's legacy and to learn more about the presidency. Harry Truman was known for his candor, his outspokenness, and his devotion to the people of the state of Missouri. This is also an apt description of today's Harry S. Truman Public Service Award recipient, former United States Senator Claire McCaskill. Both President Truman and Senator McCaskill will never forget the Missouri state motto, let the welfare of the people be the supreme law. Claire McCaskill was born in Rolla, Missouri. Both of her parents were public servants. Her father, William Young McCaskill, served as state insurance commissioner under Go Governor Warren Hearns. Her mother, Betty, was the first woman to be elected to the Columbia City Council. Claire McCaskill is a graduate of the University of Missouri and the University of Missouri School of Law. After graduation, Claire served as a law clerk on the Missouri Court of Appeals in Kansas City and later became an assistant prosecuting attorney for Jackson County. In 1982, she was elected to the Missouri House of Representatives. Claire had become the chair of the Civil and Criminal Justice Committee. Claire was the first woman to give birth while a member of the Missouri General Assembly. It would not be the last time that Claire McCaskill would be the first woman to do something in the state of Missouri. In 1992, she would be the first woman elected Jackson County prosecuting attorney. Claire started new programs in the prosecutor's office, such as a domestic violence unit and one of the nation's first drug courts. In 1998, Claire was elected state auditor. She would focus on the welfare of the people by conducting performance audits on child care facilities, the state foster care program, the state child abuse hotline, and nursing homes. Claire also reviewed domestic violence shelters, student loans, school funding, and the Missouri Sunshine Law. The innovative approach of making performance audits as a part of the auditor's office brought more transparency and efficiency to many state programs. In 2006, Claire McCaskill became the first woman elected to the United States Senate from the state of Missouri. Claire was elected to the United States Senate seat once held by Harry S. Truman, and she vowed to bring accountability to Washington, D.C., much like the man from independence Harry Truman did in his time in the United States Senate. She delivered on that promise. Upon arriving in the Senate, Claire was named to the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations. This committee was formerly known as the Truman Committee, the committee that exposed fraud and waste during, during World War II. Senator McCaskill was also appointed to the powerful Armed Services Committee and the Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee. During her time serving on the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations, Claire passed legislation enabling the Wartime Contracting Commission that was given authority to investigate fraud, waste, and abusive contracts in the Iraq and the Afghanistan wars. She was also responsible for passing legislation that provided government accountability by granting whistleblower protections for defense subcontractors. Senator McCaskill has worked hard for Missouri veterans Claire was a founding member of the Senate Veterans Jobs Caucus, which is a bipartisan group that works to incentivize companies to hire and train veterans, provide educational support, and provide a smooth path 
from active duty to veteran service. She passed legislation helping World War II veterans exposed to mustard gas in the line of duty receive the long overdue financial relief they deserve. Claire McCaskill kept her word and brought Missouri common sense and values to Washington, D.C. She reached across the aisle to work with her fellow senators to improve the lives of others, whether it be working to combat the opioid crisis, standing up for victims of violence, calling for more government accountability, or working to improve our healthcare system. Today, you can find Claire McCaskill on Twitter, being a professional grandmother, sharing her unfiltered opinions about life and politics. She also serves as an analyst for NBC News and MSNBC. She is a visiting fellow at the University of Chicago Institute on Politics. She has also written a memoir about her life, Plenty Ladylike. Please join me in congratulating the 2020 Harry S. Truman Public Award recipient, Senator Claire McCaskill. I just want to take a minute to say how much this particular award means to me. Being recognized with the Harry Truman Public Service Award uh, is probably one of the most important moments of my career. I grew up learning about Harry Truman. My parents told me when I was very young how proud they were that he was the speaker at their graduation from the University of Missouri. And it is a role model that I have tried to emulate and certainly have admired uh, for decades. He was humble. He was curious. He was um, very learned, even though he didn't boast some kind of fancy Ivy League college degree. He understood courage, that courage is making unpopular decisions because they're the right thing to do. He was grounded. He came home to independence and was just a member of the community without any artifice, without any trappings of boy aren't I important. And he spoke plainly and from his heart. So the idea that I would get this particular award just means the world to me. I want to thank Eileen, the great mayor of Independence, and everyone else who makes this award happen every year. I look forward to seeing all of you soon, and maybe we'll all gather for the reopening of the library next year. I'm looking forward to that. I know it's going to be exciting, both for all of us that are ridiculous Truman fans, but also for the city of Independence and the greater Kansas City community. Thank you again for this amazing award. I am humbled and I am incredibly grateful and have a wonderful holiday. Thank you. Congratulations to Senator Claire McCaskill and the Japanese Sister State Commission for being selected for this prestigious honor this year. From our families to yours, happy holidays. <music>